For the first time in 20 years, wildlife biologists have discovered an ocelot den in Texas, raising hopes for the future of the endangered little leopard. Ocelots, which stand 16 to 20 inches high and weigh between 20 and 35 pounds, once ranged from South Texas up into Arkansas and Louisiana. Today, there are only about 50 remaining in the U.S. But recently, wildlife biologists using remote cameras to monitor seven female ocelots at the Laguna Atascosa National Wildlife Refuge in southeastern Texas photographed three of the cats being followed by kittens. One of the remaining four has not been seen with any offspring, and two are just now approaching the age when they can reproduce. But the seventh female provided a greatest discovery of all, leading the researchers to a den where they found an approximately three week old male kitten that weighed less than a pound. The newborn's mother, estimated to be 11 years old, was not at the den at the time. She returned soon after the biologists left. The past couple of years of abundant rainfall have made excellent breeding conditions for these endangered wild cats, said Hilary Swartz of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. She is part of a team of wildlife biologists at Laguna Atacasa who track ocelots and collect data on their population numbers, health, habitat use, range, and reproduction.